Got to be easy on the cold tires. Oh man, it is cold. Way colder than it should be. Up here in the Chicagoland area, we seem to have gotten winter much sooner. It's like we didn't have any fall. We got beautiful fall colors, but it went straight from nice warm weather to 40s. I think it's about 47 degrees right now. I'm braving this cold for you guys so that I can try to make one last video this year before it's just too cold to ride. My first Ducati was a Monster 821. I loved that bike. Ooh, I loved it, especially with the Termignani exhaust that I had on it. The sound, the emotions, just fantastic. I had so much fun on that bike. Even other people had fun watching me have, have fun. Like the Midway Monster. Lots of fun on that bike. So why did I get rid of the... Why did I get rid of my beloved 821? If I loved it so much. First and foremost reason was the long trip I took with my friend from Texas who was up visiting. We rode from here, Chicagoland area, up to the Tunnel of Trees, which is a very northern part of Michigan. That trip was round trip about 937 miles, if I remember correctly. We did that in two days, actually less than two days. We left at 11 a.m. on a, I don't remember what it was, a Wednesday, I think, and came back to Chicagoland uh, Thursday night to drop off his rental bike by, we were back here by like 8.30. So from 11 a.m. on Wednesday, I think it was, to 8.30ish on Thursday, we did 937 miles. And I did that on a naked. But maybe for some people that's no big deal. But I got back from that trip destroyed. I mean, I was annihilated. The wind, it's mainly the wind. I had a great time, but my hands, my fingers were, were just wrecked from holding on. Holding on to the bike as the wind pushed me back. Because, I mean, we were averaging 90, 95 miles per hour on the way back. And it was all highway. So I was really beat up by the wind and I decided that was it. I like to take long trips. I do a lot of... Uh, faster expressway riding. I don't live in the city. So getting anywhere, getting to any nice twisties, like in Wisconsin, uh, requires two or three hours of boring 90 mile per hour expressway riding just to get there. And by the time you're there, you're already a little tired from the wind beating you up. So I decided I needed some wind protection and this bike, offered a few things. Number one, it provided the very Ducati style single-sided swing arm. The other thing is uh, the torque curve is better. There's just so much torque everywhere on this bike. Now the Monster 821 had a lot of great torque, but it was more of a, if you look at the torque curve, it was more of a, of a hill. This bike, it goes up and then it stays flat and then goes back down just at the very end. So. There's just delicious, juicy torque everywhere. That just throws you back in the seat. And that is a lot of fun, especially for a street bike. I'm not, on, I'm not on the track on this thing. This is my street bike. I don't need to be revving to 14,000 RPM to get anything out of it. I don't want to get too low because the tires are cold. Oh, I do love the quick shifter. 
close the throttle and click down the shifter. There you go. Of course, I wouldn't recommend that for a new rider just because I think that people should learn how to shift properly. Just to understand how these things work like that. Very easy. And you should learn to do that before you just rely on technology. But when you have that technology, it is pretty nice. What else do I love about this bike? Well, it is a sport bike with fairings, so I get the wind protection that I want. At least some wind protection. And the clip-ons are upright. They're clipped on above the top clamp with a riser, built-in riser, so I'm not down laying on my hands like I am on my track bike. The seat is also extremely comfortable. This is the most comfortable seat I think I've ever sat on. gravel. There's so many freaking cars here. The handling on this bike is amazing. That's another thing that I love about it. The torque and the handling. You basically set your lean angle in a turn and it just sits at that lean angle almost just by itself. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to really give it any inputs. So I lean the bike over and it just sits in the lean. What is this? I don't want to go here. I don't know what that is. You set the lean angle and it just sits in that lean until you tell it to do something else. Really fantastic handling on this thing. And it's got the Olins, because it's an S, it's a Super Sport S, so Olin's suspension is considered pretty much top of the line. Brembo brakes. It may not have 180 horsepower screaming at 15,000 RPM, but it's damn fun, and it's plenty fast, as you can see. This is a really fun bike. It's a twin, it has the character, it has the sound, it has the low and mid-range torque, but it's, it's fairly lightweight. I can just rev it at 5,000 RPM, and I am off. It throws me back at 5,000 RPM. So pretty soon it's going to be too cold to ride. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to keep uh, being able to put stuff up to the channel, but today is probably the last day that I can ride. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some car videos. Maybe I'll review some cars. If you guys like that. 
So I put on the touring windscreen, which helps. I do like it. It raised the, uh, the point that the wind hits me by about, I don't know, three, four inches, I think. I'm using these are CRG uh, blindside mirrors, I think. They're two inches. You gotta get used to the fact that they're smaller, so it's a lot less, um, I don't know how you say it, it's a lot less visible area on the mirror, but because they're concave, you still see more behind you than you did on the stock, on the big stock mirrors, which were vibrating like crazy, so I had to replace those. Got the Pazo brake levers, some uh, Duca bike little bits and bobs. Since I took off the mirrors, I had to get a solution for the front turn signals. So I'm using the uh, New Rage Cycles uh, New Rage Cycles front turn signal kit. I also have the New Rage Cycle uh, tail tidy, which I love because it just hides everything, puts everything up in the tail, and nothing is sticking out. So 40, 4,500 RPM. I can just, just torque it up to 80 miles per hour in literally two seconds. That's what I love about these bikes. You don't have to downshift. The only thing I do need to do on this bike is replace the exhaust. I don't know if you guys can even hear it in this video, but while it sounds really good, I like the sound of it, it's too quiet. So at higher speeds with the helmet, and the earplugs, I really can hardly hear it. I really miss the brap that I had on the Monster with the with the Termis. But the sound on this bike is, it's interesting because this thing is using the, the 937cc Testostrata from the Hyper Motard, the newest one. And so it's, it's much, it's, it's from the same family as the Monsters with the Testostrata, yet this engine with this exhaust to me sounds a lot more like the Panigale 959 that I rode than, than my Monster A21. When it's just standing and idling, it kind of sounds like a monster. It's kind of got that choppy sound, but when I'm at, at higher speeds and, and on the gas, full throttle, climbing the RPMs, it sounds a lot more like the, 95, the stock 959 did than my Monster ever did. So that's interesting. Because the 959 Panigale has the Super Quadro family uh, V-twin, which is a completely different engine than the Testa Strata. So that's why I say I love the sound of this. Um, it just needs to be louder. And the wind protection is enough. I can raise this windscreen up. It goes up uh, about two inches, I think. Inch and a half, two inches. It does make a difference. So with it, with it down, the wind is... I'm, I'm about six feet. I'm like 5'11 and a half, six feet, something like that. So with the screen down, and this is the touring screen, the wind hits me about like where the camera is right now about my my uh the chin of my helmet so sort of uh, around there the bottom of the visor if i pick the windscreen up then it hits above the, the chin vent of my helmet somewhere in the middle of my visor so um and, and of course it it smooths the, the air out it's not it's not buffety but I can keep the, the chin vent open on the helmet with the, uh, with the screen up, and I don't get a blast of wind into my helmet through the chin vents. When I come to a stop, I always watch my mirror, and if I feel like the guy is going a little too fast, I tap my brake a few times. just to kind of give them a little extra something to see. Like, hey, there's a bike standing here. You know what every state needs to allow? Filtering at stoplights. 
That should be legal. I should be able to legally go in between these cars up to the front of the line at a stoplight. I'm not even asking for lane splitting on the expressway or anything like that. That's dangerous, and people in cars are... They don't know how to drive, and I'm not sure that's a great idea. I know they do it in California, but they're used to it in California. But I think everywhere, I should at least be allowed to just go in between the cars right now up to the front of the line. So when the light turns green, I can take off. That way, I'm free and clear of all of these 4,000 pound death machines around me. The other thing I can do on this bike, no problem, even though it's a little bit more of a forward prone sporty position over the monster is I can ride it with one hand like this. That's no problem. Just put my other hand on my hip. And when you're not on the gas, when you're just riding gently, you need to use the clutch. The quick shifter only works if you're really on the throttle. I am gonna get a new exhaust. I love how the bike sounds, it just needs to be louder. So I will get a new exhaust, and when I do, I will definitely make a comparison video. So I think that's about it for today. It's probably it for riding in 2017. Sadly, I'm very sad. But what are you gonna do? I will try to post some videos that are... I'll try to post some car-related videos. Maybe I'll do a... Uh, I'd like to drive the new Audi S5. So I think I'm going to try to see if I can do an Audi S5 video. And I will post that up for y'all. So I will talk to you later. Ride safe. Don't trust anybody in a car. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.